In this Arma 3 editing tutorial, I'll be going over the use of the switch trigger type. In this example, I'll be attacking a base, and once it's eliminated, the AI will send reinforcements. Start by placing your character on the map, followed by the enemy unit, and in this case we're going to name it Base Guard 1. For the sake of simplicity, I'll be using one unit to guard the space. Although this will work with multiple units, it's just a matter of naming the units and including their names in the trigger. Next I'll place the reinforcing team. This will be the team sent in after the base is eliminated. For this example, I'll be using an off-road technical, and I'll be loading an extra man into it using the move in cargo command as you'll see here. It's important that we name the vehicle for the move in cargo command to work properly. In the unit's initialization field, type this, indicating that it's that unit. You can also use a name and name the unit. Then type move in cargo, followed by the vehicle that you're moving the unit into. This also works with move in gunner to put somebody in a gunning position and move in driver. Next, I place two waypoints, the first being the start position, and the second one being where the vehicle will go after the switch. The switch requires the first waypoint because it switches from one waypoint to another. Next, for the sake of the tutorial, I'll place a second playable unit near the reinforcing team so we can watch as they leave once the switch is initiated. Finally, we need to place the switch trigger. In type, select switch. In condition, type in exclamation mark, which means not in scripting code, followed by alive, and then followed by the unit's name. What this means is, when it passes the condition check, it'll check to see that base guard 1 is dead, and if it is, it'll initiate the switch. Here you'll see as I derp my way through this building and take out the base guard, it'll send the reinforcing team to come and check out the base. This is just one of many ways to use the switch trigger. It can be used with any unit, with any waypoint. Get creative and see what you can do.